Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Doug Johnston, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Johnston, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me today. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, so we're here at STS and while there are lots of research sessions going and breakout rooms with all the physicians, we're getting patient questions and this one came in from Tim and he asks, I see a lot of information about bicuspid aortic valves being passed down genetically. What about mitral valve prolapse? I have moderate mitral valve prolapse. Should my kids get tested? That is a great question. It's one we get very frequently. Um, we do believe that mitral valve prolapse is a genetic condition, meaning it, it, is, uh, it does run in families, but it's so common, and we don't know what genes actually cause it, that we don't typically recommend screening for mitral valve prolapse. Even in bicuspid valve disease, which is a less common condition and, and where we do do echo screening of family members, we don't know what the genes are that are involved. So um, what I would say with mitral valve prolapse is monitoring your own mitral valve prolapse, now that it's known, is a good thing to do. We don't recommend screening uh, kids or other family members. Dr. Johnston, thanks for answering Tim's question and helping us learn all about the genetics of valve disease. And thanks for everything you and your team are doing at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks a lot, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.